It finally happened, guys. It finally happened. Oh, my Russian sex doll showed up. Oh, God, here she is. Oh, fuck. Crafted with love. Oh, unfortunately, I'm lying. There's no Russian sex doll in here. There's something I've been looking for for a lot longer than a Russian sex doll. Styrofoam. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's everywhere. Um... Okay, if I wasn't filming this unboxing, I would get my vacuum out. I'd get my vacuum out is what I'd do. I'd get my little high pumper nickel. I'd get my vacuum out. And I'd vacuum all the little fuckers before they had a chance to fuck with me. Uh, I apologize to everyone watching at home. Please remove your headphones or lower said video. No. There's a no. No. I will attempt to link to this vacuum because it's a Dyson and means it's overpriced, but you know what? It fucking sucks. You know what that means? It means that that shit's gonna be in there forever. Forever. I haven't told you what's even in here yet. Sorry. Sorry, guys. But my life has to be lived with as little fucking styrofoam popcorn shit as possible. This is horrifying. I'm glad the guy sent it. Right, here's the screws I need. I want to break this, but I know if I break it, it's just going to um, puff out a million... Oh, we got free. Oh, God, there's so much. There's so much stuff. I would love to keep that, but oh, God. Ah. Ah. I'm glad I filmed this. I wasn't going to film it. Oh, it's everywhere. Actually, I could probably. I'll have to take this shit outside and shake it. Anyway, what's actually in here is another one of those the IKEA lac table. Not just the lac that they, they still sell, the lac they don't fucking sell. Oh, my science! What is this? What are they? Chopsticks! The owner said he's going to send something else. So, fan of the show. Here's the deal. Um, Ikea stopped selling the table I use for my coffee table. There's two of them there. I have two of them here. One of these has a hole in it. The other one isn't damaged, but I, it sort of like needs to be there. Although it really doesn't need to be there. And I've always liked having the idea of three of these in a cluster. I used to have three. Then I brought the other one over there. And so if you have two people sitting here and one person sitting there, I could, everyone could have their own little personal table or you cluster them in the middle. And then Ikea stopped selling that, that particular type of lac table. And I put it on all call several times. And finally, someone answered and said, I have one of those, but it has no wheels. Do you want it? 20 bucks? And I'm like, ah. So I sent them a shipping label after I figured out how to send myself a shipping label. I don't know because it was gonna cost like $90 to ship this fucking thing, so I don't know how Ikea does it. Oh, fucking, fucking, look at this fucking. Oh, Jesus. I was gonna open other boxes on this in video, on this unboxing video. I'm gonna have to, um. This is a vacuuming video, not an unboxing video. God, I love little vacuums. This is really a review of the fucking Dyson V6. Maybe I should put this on the main channel as a review. This is the top. Someone had their coffee cup there. Honestly, better shape than mine are. I clean mine occasionally, every few times. I abuse the shit out of mine. Mine have been used to hold subwoofers and me. I, I sit under all the time. Okay, I'm gonna call that as a successful unboxing of this. 
Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a lot more vacuuming than this little annoying fucking styrofoam bastards. Everything else seems good. It's good. I'm gonna hyperventilate at it for a little while. Okay. 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 I'm gonna move this to the side. And then I'm gonna take this fucking demon box. I bring the demon oh, you can see, it's like snowing off of it. I'll bring the demon box back into the hallway. I like how I could take these out of here without actually opening the package. They just come out the hole. Thank you. That's not recyclable. I will say this though, since I went to Japan, and I, I know it's only because I went to Japan, and I did you know I go to Japan? I, I, I pay people to punch them in Japan. But, um, hey, that's how you hold choppy stickuru. I honestly like the cheap wooden chopsticks. The plastic ones at the restaurants, like, ah, oh, couldn't pick up shit. They need to be roughed up, then they get too smooth. This actually feels like it's got a little bit of texture here. We'll find out. I will give these a proper washing. I won't leave them in my sink either, though. From there. All right, moving on. Don't lose this. This makes the whole thing go. I'll do one more little bag. Little bag. Little bag. Ah. It's a vape pen for someone I know. Okay, so here it is. I'm I'm bringing the vape culture to life. It's a MIG vapor, thick oil vaporizer. What I think I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to have my friend vape bacon grease in this. Do I even want to open this? I feel like I don't even want to open it. Oh, with an extra battery, which is really if you're screwing on the other vape things, this is all you need. So this is you know what. I'm keeping that, and he can get this. And that wasn't cheap. These fucking things are fucking... Good ones are fucking expensive. Anyway. That and this. Gift can't undo gift. From e-cigs to mods. Oh, God. I hate vape culture. But it was... Tr trust me. J just trust me. <laughs>